Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna do strength workout. Uh, so what we're gonna need, we're gonna need kettlebells or it can be a dumbbells. So choose the weight uh, is good for you. I've got here one kettlebell of four kilos and two six. So let's begin. First we're gonna warm up. We'll start with a walking plank. So just follow my lead. We're gonna start from hinge, so you soften your knees, you're lowering yourself down, placing your hands on the floor, walk yourself slowly into the floor, try not to move your hips too much side to side. Here you go, you're in the plank, now bring one leg forward, open through the side, look up into the ceiling. Now try to reach the floor with your elbow if you can, if not, just go as far as you can. Place your hand back down, take your leg, and now change sides, do exactly the same on the other side. Open, look up into the ceiling, and now try to reach the floor with your elbow, place your hand back down into the plank, soften your knees, and then walk yourself back up. And then when you're here, just roll your spine all the way back. Again, hinge, knees soft, hands on the floor, walk yourself into the plank, one leg, open, elbow reaching the floor, place it back, swap your legs, open, reaching the floor, back, and then come back, soften your knees, bring yourself back up. It's always nice to do warm up like this rather than walking or uh, running. And now bend your knees into the hinge, walk yourself back into the plank, one leg comes forward, open, touch the floor, come back, swap legs, open, elbow, bring it back, soften your knees and walk yourself back up. Roll your spine. Good. Let's do it three more times. Hinge, knees soft. Walk yourself back into the plank. One leg comes forward. Open. Elbow reaching the floor. Place it back. Change. The other side. Open. Elbow. Back. Into the plank. Walk yourself back up. Through the roll up. We stand up. Hinge, knees soft. All the way down into the plank. One leg comes forward. Open. Reach, place it back, take your leg, swap sides, open, reach, place, take it back, soften your knees, and then come back. We just have one more time to go. Let's do last one. Hinge, knees soft, walk yourself into the plank. One leg comes forward, open, reach the floor with your elbow, place it back, swap legs, open through the side, Touch the floor with your elbow, come back into the plank, soften your knees, and then walk yourself back up. Roll your spine into the standing. The first exercise. So we will need a dumbbell, a kettlebell. I'm going for six kilos. You can choose any weight you, you would like to go for. And then we start, we extend our arm. Uh, so we're always gonna hold the dumbbell and extended arm. Make sure your knees stay slightly soft. And then from here, the same side where you're holding the dumbbell, you're just slightly uh, going in the offset position. So do, do two wide step, just a little bit. And now from here, we're gonna go into the lunge here. So lower yourself down, and then you're hiding your knee behind your front leg heel. And then you come back, one. Make sure you press your foot into the floor, especially your big toes. Again, going down, back, Two, keep breathing, push your shoulders down. Again, down and back, three. Down, press your foot into the floor, four. Eight more times, down. Come back, seven more. Good, keep breathing, nice and strong. Hold that dumbbell, down and back. Down, very good. Come back, perfect. Again, down, take me back. Hop, very good. Again, we have four more times. Let's go four and back. Make sure this front knee always in line with your second toe. Three, last two, two. Brilliant, one more time. And one. Fantastic, let's change sides. So swap your hand, little step, bicep, press. And now let's start here. Let's go. Going down, hide your knee behind your heel. One, again, down, two. Down, good, three, push your shoulders down, perfect. Four, eight more, eight, and up. Seven, breathe, keep breathing. Six, come 
come back, last five, five, and four, press your foot into the floor, three, always make sure you're pressing toes into the floor, two, last one, one more, and one, brilliant, drop the dumbbell down, and just for a few seconds, just inhale, reach the ceiling, and then exhale, bring it down, moving to the next, we're still going to use the same weight, so this time, pull your kettlebell or your dumbbell in front of you, we're going to go into the squat, so I want you to place your foot slightly shorter than your, slightly wider than your shoulders are, you slightly open your foot again, make sure you press your toes into the floor, yeah, so you always activate your glute muscle, and now from here, we're going to lower ourselves down into the squat, open your knees nice and wide, sit down here and up from there, we go bicep curl, and then we come up, and then we press all the way up, again, going down into the squat, keep your back nice and straight, open those knees, press, and then come up, shoulder press two, good, keep breathing, again, going down, keep pressing your foot into the floor, bicep curl, stand up, and three, fantastic, let's do another nine times, down, open your knees, come back, press, and here, very good, again, going down, down, we do the bicep curl here, we push ourselves off the floor, shoulders, come back, and down, again, down, bicep curl, extend, and stand up, good, come back down, again, keep opening your knees, bicep, stand, halfway through six, we have six more times, again, down, straight, bicep, stand up, press, well done, five more, keep pressing your foot into the floor, brilliant, bicep, stand up, and press, good, four to go, again, down, bicep, push yourself off the floor, press, three to go, last three, down, open your knees, bicep curl, stand up, and press three, last two, two more times, down, bicep, off the floor, very good, last one, one more time, keep breathing, keep pressing your foot into the floor, bicep, stand up, press, very good, and we're going down now, and we pass, so we stay in the same position, we want to place our foot a little bit wider, and now from here, let's hold the dumbbell in front of us, or kettlebell, and now from here, lower yourself down, and then 10 pulses, 10, 9, 8, 7, good, 6, keep breathing, 5, 4, last 3, 3, 2, one more time, and 1, well done, bring yourself back, drop that dumbbell down, and give yourself a few seconds rest, inhale, reach towards the ceiling, and then exhale, take your hands down, moving to the next, we're going to go down on the floor, we still need a dumbbell, so here, see if you want to go lighter or you want to stay with the same weight. I'll stay with the same six kilos as, I, as I've done before. So we start, we're on the knees, one leg stays on the knee, the other leg is extended. If it's too hard for you to stay on the floor, you can always use a pillow or double up the mat, if it feels alright, just stay as I am. Make sure that this foot is nicely flat on the floor and you're pressing your big toe into the floor all the time. You kind of always want to feel the ground with that leg. So grab the dumbbell and hold it on the same side, which leg is extended. And now from here, what we're going to do, we're going to lengthen through the side. Inhale here, open your fingers, and now exhale, shoulder press. Again, come back, inhale, press that foot into the floor, and then exhale, shoulder, two. Inhale, lengthen through the spine, come back, three, inhale, and then exhale, four, very good, again, inhale, ten times, exhale, five, five more, inhale, feel the stretch between the ribcage, six, good, inhale, 
Breathe out. And seven. Three more. Inhale. And exhale. And then two more to go. You can do it. Inhale. Come back. And two. Last one. Inhale. Smile. Always be in a nice, good mood here. That's it. Breathe out. Let's drop this dumbbell down. Swap legs. And we'll do exactly the same on the other side. Extend that leg. And I'll drop a dumbbell. Hold it here on the top of your shoulder, extend your arm, and then let's go. Lengthen here, inhale, and then exhale, we press one. Fantastic, inhale, and exhale, two. Again, inhale, exhale, three. Breathe, breathe, inhale, open your fingers, exhale, four. One more time, inhale, exhale, halfway. And then five more times. Inhale. If this weight feels too heavy, just swap the weight. Exhale. Fantastic. Last four. Inhale. And exhale. Three more to go. Inhale. Good. Exhale. Last two. Inhale. Exhale. And then one more time. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Well done. Let's change leg one more time and we're slightly going to change the exercise as well. So again, leg is extended, you're nice and straight line, you hold the dumbbell in the, on the same side. So this time you start from here, this hand is parallel to the floor, we go, we do shoulder press and then you're nice and controlled, lower yourself down, make sure your wrist is always stays in line with your shoulder, place your whole palm on the floor. If it's too hard for you, you can have a block under the knee or maybe books and just bring yourself back and take him back one. Well done. Let's do it again. Shoulder press and then lower yourself down. Make sure you press your foot into the floor so you always feel that your foot stays on the floor there. And now go back. Well done too. Press, lower yourself down, nice and controlled. Feel that core engagement. And now bring yourself back and three. Press. Lower it down. Keep your head in line with your spine. Don't let your head go down. And four. Press all the way down. We're halfway through now. Breathe. Taking it back. Five. Five more times. Press again down. Five. Taking it back. Breathe. Press. And four. If you feel a little bit shaky, that's right. It's just muscles not get used to it. The more you practice, you're going to get better. Three, again, lower it down. Fantastic, taking back. If it's too heavy, just drop the weight. And two, lower it down. And then taking back. Well done, last one, just one more time. Now change side. Again, one, taking back. Take the dumbbell, dumbbell goes down. Well done, let's change side. So all the same, extend your leg. Grab the dumbbell. Get ready, extend this arm, and then we start from press, lower ourselves down, nice and controlled. Always first one is a little bit feels harder than the rest. You just need to get used to, to work on the other side. Again, press, lower it down, keep breathing, take yourself back to press down to the floor, take him back, and three, fantastic, press down. And four, you remember, press your foot into the floor, yeah? Feel that ground, and five, you can kind of feel like you slightly want to slide the foot towards you in a way. Again, press all the way down, five. Very good, take him back. Last four, four. Feels a little bit sweaty now. Good, and then keep going, three more, last three. Press all the way down, three. Take him back, two left, two. Down and then we take him back. Breathe and last one. Let's do one more time. One again down and then take him back. Hop and then drop it down. And then we're gonna move to the next. So now we will need two dumbbells. If you like, grab some water. We will need two dumbbells, two kettlebells, um, and then we're gonna lay down on the floor. So, as I was saying before in all of my videos. Make sure when you lay down on the floor, don't throw yourself on the floor. You either go through the side or you go through the roll down. So you keep your spine nice C shape. And then from here you inhale and you start extending. You start just pushing your spine into the floor one by one. 
slowly, 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 slowly. Feel every single part of your spine. And then when you're here, inhale, there you go, you're on the floor. I just forgot my dumbbells. So we need our dumbbells or kettlebells here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do bridge with a chest press. So you hold your dumbbells and then from here, we start from, we lift our hips up. So you inhale, you slightly arch your back off the floor. You exhale, you start pressing your spine into the floor. Lift your hips until your bottom of the rib cage at the back is on the floor. So no, you don't need to come so high. You wanna make sure you, your ribs are in the pants. Yes, yeah? so you press your bottom of their rib cage into the floor. You do the chest press. You take the dumbbells down and now slowly, slowly, slowly push the spine back and then lower it down. Your bum is the last to touch the floor. Again, inhale, arch your back. Exhale, press your back into the floor. Start lifting your hips up, chest press, and now bring it back down and then slowly, slowly roll your spine and bring it back. Again, inhale, back of the floor. Exhale, spine into the floor, lift it up, chest press, take him back, and now slowly lower it down. Three. Inhale, arch your back. Exhale, back into the floor. Lift your hips. Press. And now take him back. And then slowly, slowly lower your spine down. Again, inhale. Exhale, lift it up. Chest press. And now take him back. And then lower yourself down. We're going to do three more times here. Again, inhale. Exhale, hips up. Press. Take him back and now roll your spine one by one. Keep is the last, bum is the last, push the floor. Again, inhale, exhale, all the floor. Press, take him back and now lower your spine down, nice and controlled. Inhale, last one. And then exhale, lift it up, press, take him back and now lower your spine all the way down. Fantastic. Let's leave those tumbles on the side. Bring your knees to the chest just for a few seconds. Gently walk yourself side to side. And now hide your fingers underneath your knees and now gently walk yourself a couple of the times. So one, keep your spine nice and rounded. And the third one, you just sit down here. For the next, I would suggest you to grab a light dumbbell. So I'm gonna have my core, which actually still feels maybe quite heavy for the next one. If it's gonna be too heavy, we just can do it without any weight. So we stay on our knees, nice straight line here. And then you hold uh, your kettlebell, your dumbbell in front of you. Just make sure push your shoulders down. Keep your wrists in line with your shoulders. And now from here, what we're gonna do, we inhale, and when we, uh, we inhale, we're gonna lower ourselves down. And then we come up, exhale, one. Again, inhale, make sure your spine is nice and straight. And then exhale, back. You don't need to go very far. Just a little bit. Again, down. And then three. Fantastic. Again, all the way, not all the way, all the way. Four. Four more times. Again, inhale. Exhale. Last three. Inhale. And exhale. Two more times. It's too heavy, just drop the weight. Again, down. And back. Last one. Again, all the way down and then come back. Well done, you. Let's stand up for the next. We will need a dumbbell. And um, let's go, or you can use a kettlebell or a dumbbell, whatever you have. And then let's go. So this time, we're gonna go into the offset position. So here, split. So we're gonna, we're ready for the lunge, yeah? And now from here, I, I'm gonna, Go down and I place the kettlebell anywhere here on the floor and I'll pick it up. One. Don't worry about that you're leaning forward. I just want you every single time when you roll with dumbbell, just place them in a different position. Two. I get down and then pick it up and three. Good. And then you always you always place the dumbbell with the same hand and then you pick it up with the same. Again down, pick it up. Three, let's, let's, let's this be three. Again, down, up, and four. Change, down, lift it up. Five, again, down, lift, 
Six, good, we'll do 10 times. Down, pick it up. Mm -hmm. Again, down, pick it up. Good. And down, pick it up. Two more. Down, pick it up. Good. Every time in a different position. And last one. And I'll keep the dumbbell in the same hand, which you just pick it up. And now let's place the dumbbell down. And then we'll pick it with the other side. One, swap. Again, down, lift. Two, good. Down, lift. Three, fantastic. Again, down. And four, six more. Down, keep breathing. Halfway. Five, five more times. Down and lift. Five. Very good. Down, lift. Four. Three more. Down, lift. Three. And the last two, two more times. And two. Last one. You're doing great. And one. Whew. There was a last one on this side. Now let's change legs and we'll do exactly the same in here now. So again, start with the same <clears throat> hand, which leg is in front, and now lower the dumbbell and then pick it up. Again, lower, pick it up. And always try to place dumbbell in a different spot. Try to challenge yourself every time to kind of bring it further away. Three, good, down. Down, six, last four, mm -hmm. four, and then three more times left, three, very good, two, guess what, last one, one, and I'll keep the dumbbell on the opposite hand, yeah, the, the opposite side, side towards the leg, which is in front, we'll do exactly the same, we'll lower it down and I'll pick it up with the other hand, one, hop, and two, good, and three, should feel nice and warm now. Down and four, perfect. Down and five, almost there. Down, six, down and seven. Whew. And three more, eight. See, I'm doing everything with you. Nine, very good, last one, last one. And then, well done you. Next, so for the next, you can choose lightweight or heavier or maybe no weight at all. We're gonna do side lunge. We'll hold the dumbbell, again with the extended arm. And then from here, what we're gonna do, we're gonna do side lunge. So when you step, you wanna make sure that both of your foot are facing straight, they're parallel to each other. Imagine there is a chair behind you. You're trying to sit in that chair, and then you're reaching towards the floor here. Hop, and then one. As I said before, if it's too much, just drop the dumbbell. Again, down, and two. Watch that knee, make sure your knee is looking straight in line with your second toe. And then down, three. Again, step, and four, brilliant. And then step, press your foot into the floor, press the big one into the floor, big toe, five, halfway, five more times, five, good, last four, and four, breathe, keep breathing, and three, Good, last two, and two, one more, just last one time, and one, good, take the dumbbell down, swap side, and we'll do exactly the same on the other side. Let's go, get ready, let's step, and then lower yourself down, nice and controlled, if you can look at that dumbbell, you can look straight, as you can do right now, just make sure it's nice, comfortable, and easy for you in a way. And three, brilliant. Watch those foot. Make sure both of them, both of your feet, they're looking straight. There is a chair behind you. You're trying to sit all the time. Four, and five, good. Five more, and five, brilliant. Last four, four, Three to go, and three, good, and last two, two, guess what, last one, and one, well done, drop the dumbbell down, have a sip of water, and we're going to move to the next. Okay, next 
next one, we're gonna need a dumbbell or kettlebell again. So we kind of go into the, uh, we kind of sit in a hinge position, yeah? So you're not leaning forward, your knees are nicely so you shift your hips to the back, so you're in a little hinge, and now from here, you know, you kind of, you swing in your dumbbell. Just start swinging your dumbbell, kind of slightly diagonally in front of you, just for a few seconds. Just to feel the weight, to see how the movement is happening, and now from here now. So you swing the dumbbell, then you turn, hop, and then you press. Then you take the dumbbells back, your foot again flat, you swing. Again, twist, hop, and back, two. Hop, and again, touch, and three. We just come up, come out from the mat. So, again, yes, yeah, so you swing, and then you twist, press, four. Take your foot back, swing, move back, catch, five. Hop, and then see how your foot, they behaving here. Can you use them? There is enough mobility in your foot at all. And then press six, good. Swing, catch, seven. Mm -hmm. Come back and eight. Very good, let's go again. And nine, last one. And here you go, Ten. Freedom. Let's change side, all the same on the other side. Again, you're in a hinge, just start swinging dumbbell a little bit. And now dumbbell flying to the back, dumbbell flying in the front, you twist, press, hop, take your back. Again, catch the dumbbell, press, two, swing, catch the dumbbell, press, and good. Again, catch, four, well done. And catch, you see one of my foot is on my toe, that one is flat, five more times. Hop, five, again, swing, catch, mm -hmm. four, last three, and we catch, three, two more times, let's go, and two, last one, hop, and one, well done, you, and now let's hold it down on both of our hands, we're going to do roll up. So place your foot hip width apart. Hip width apart is raise your hip bone. So draw imaginary lines and place your foot hip width apart. And now from here we start from tucking our chin in and then you start rolling your upper back. Your lower body, it doesn't move. So you start with your upper back. You're letting that weight to bring you down and then when your weight is in line with your knees, you slightly shift your weight towards your toes and then start rolling all the way down here well done and now inhale exhale start lifting up again press your spine into the ceiling press your foot into the floor when your dumbbells are aligned with your knees you kind of center your weight between your toes and your heel your shoulders and your head comes last roll your shoulders well done you. If you like, you can repeat it one more time or two more times. If not, let's go and finish with our cool down. So I want you to lay down on the side. You extend the bottom leg, top leg stays bent at 90 degree. And now from here, extend your arm, rest your head on the arm, and now inhale, open. Make sure you press your knee into the floor, and then exhale, close. Again, inhale, open. It's like you're drawing half a circle. Exhale, close, good. Press your knee into the floor. Inhale, don't let the knee leave the floor. And then exhale, good. Two more times. Inhale, open. And then exhale. Last one, inhale. And exhale, brilliant. And now let's push ourselves on the floor so we stay on the knee, on the elbow. You can just keep both of your knees slightly bended, bring your hand behind your head, and now from here, you inhale, you open, look up into the ceiling, and then exhale, rotate, look down into the floor. Make sure you push your shoulder away from the floor, don't sink like this. So again, don't sink here. You see, I'm pushing my elbow into the floor, so my shoulder goes away from my ear. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, to let that spine stretch. Inhale, 
exhale, two more times, inhale, exhale, last one, inhale, and exhale, brilliant, and now from here, let's just slightly come up, so now you place your palm in line with your hip, your legs still stay the same slightly bented, but this time the top leg stays in front, the back leg is behind, this arm is just in front here, and now from there, just push yourself into the down dog, hook, and then come back, one, again, up, push, and back to you, we'll only going to do three times, and hop, and ooh, three, well done, let's turn around, I'll do exactly the same on the other side, so remember first one, lay down on the side, rest your head on your hand, keep your knees 90 degree angle, glue them together, press them into the floor, and now start inhaling open, press your knees into the floor, exhale, close, you slightly slide your arm forward, yeah, when you open, inhale, and then exhale back to, good, again, slide, inhale, exhale, three, last two, two more times, slide, inhale, and exhale, last one, slide, inhale, and exhale, Brilliant. And now push yourself off the floor. Now we're going to stay on the elbow. Knees are slightly bended. Your arm goes behind your head. Always press your head into your palm. So it kind of is not hanging. You always keep it nice and straight. So you're teaching yourself to keep your head in line with your spine. And now from here, you inhale, look up into the ceiling. Exhale down. Remember what I told you before? Press your elbow into the floor. Make sure you're not sinking down. Yeah. Again, inhale. Exhale. Two. Inhale. Exhale, three, two more times. Inhale, exhale, four, arch the back here. Inhale, and exhale, five. Well done, you. Let's do one more, and I will let you go. So the top leg goes in front, the back leg is slightly behind, so this arm stays in line with your hip, this one is in front. And now you inhale, exhale, into the down dog. Come on. And down, again, up. And back, last one, up, up, and back, well done. And then let's just sit into the Turkish seat, posture nice and tall here, we're just going to do a nice uh, deep breath, just to finish, to settle, to come down. So I want you to inhale through your nose, now hold your breath, one, two, three, four, exhale, through your nose, inhale, exhale, hold your breath, one, two, three, four, inhale, exhale, inhale, hold your breath, one, two, three, four, exhale, Well, thank you, and I wish you to have a wonderful day. Uh, let me know what you want to see next, and I'll see you next time. I hope you enjoy it.